started my journey, uh, I'm a middle class South Indian uh, person who was born in a small little apartment in Chembur. And uh, you know, normally in South Indian, Sangeeta is over here, she also knows, uh, we, some instrument or the other or some vocal, vocal class or some dance class or something, kids are you know, learning. Koi dekha violin leke ja rahe. You know, so it's part of the culture and you know, I have learned music from a very young age. I learned the veena, then I learned singing. So singing, performing, getting exposure to music was there from a very, very young age. But then what happens is you are moving at a very crazy speed in life. You, you do your 10th standard, you get a decent mark and then you do the 12th standard, then you get these marks over there. Then, you know, everybody is like pressurizing you, what do you want to do, what do you want to do? So I think in, the, in those days, you know, we did not have a whistling words or anything like that. We just had an option to doctor banega ke engineer banega, fata fat bol. So, you know, so I had to take a call. So, I mean, uh, engineering computers were very interesting and I said, okay, let me, let me do engineering. And though I enjoyed it, of course, I mean, made a lot of friends over there and did my engineering. Engineering also got over and then uh, uh, my passports were being taken to, to go to the US because I was working on Oracle 6 which was uh, the in thing that time and anybody who's worked on Oracle for more than 6-8 months they are immediately transported to the USA and then you start earning thousands and thousands of dollars and you know you start programming music. So all this was happening at a great speed you know. And at some stage I had to, and I, and I started working also, yeah, I forgot about that. I was working for a software uh, uh, company called Leading Edge Systems, and I started developing software for them, and I was enjoying my life. But in the meantime, this musical thing was bubbling somewhere. Uh, I was performing in small, you know, college functions. I used to always, you know, participate in all these Malahars and Avishkars and this and that, and all the college festivals, and I used to win the prize. I used to be performing in smaller functions. That was a passion which was there, you know. That was parallelly happening. When a time came when I had to, you know, actually make a decision whether yeah, in Nokri to it was a good Nokri mm -hmm. and it was paying well also, very secure and I would have been like all my friends are in the US now. In the Bay Area, New York, all over. One day I decided, I told my boss came. Sir, I want to talk to you, Jara Nietzsche. He said, oh, cigarette is allowed. So I took him down. Oh, cigarette is allowed. I saw him and said, I'm going for a smoke. I want to join you. So I went down to the parking lot. And uh, I said, cigarette is allowed. I just want to talk to you. I said that uh, I'm changing my career tomorrow. So I said, are you crazy? You know, your passports, your passport copies are taken. passport copies are taken. Your visas will happen now, very soon, and you'll be, you know, you'll be developing software 
for many our clients are very big people over there and very soon your job is going to multiply and you're going to really reach places. No sir, I'm changing my career tomorrow. So, uh, so what is your problem? Do you want to change from software to hardware? Hardware was the marketing made out of their home. What do you want? No sir, I want to become a singer. So he, then he thought, I have completely lost it. <laughs> he said, boss, you don't know this is Oracle is the end thing now, you can't. Then I explained to him my whole thing about, you know, how I've been singing from my childhood and, and, and I've educated myself in music and that's my passion. <laughs> so sir, that is one thing which I could do for about 18 hours in a day and still not feel tired. That was something that I could listen to, keep listening to music. So I have to do a little bit of introspection and see, is this what I want to do? Do I want to sit behind a computer and develop software for some arbit guy, the boss whom I am not even going to see, the client's head or whatever, and uh, you know, increase the turnover of some company which I am not associated with? Or do I want to just enter every morning into a place where I look forward to, where I can spend the entire day without realizing, you know, um, guys, I mean, I, we come into the studio in the morning at 10 o'clock and sometimes we don't even realize now, sometimes we don't even realize that we've not had lunch, we just skipped everything, you know, just, and we realize, oh my God, it's, you know, it's 9 o'clock in the night and we have to go back home. You don't realize it. And if you take up a job or if you do something that is, <coughs> of your core competence, something that is within you, something that you enjoy doing and that, that never ever tires you, I think success is 100% there for you. That's right. Which, is the, which, is, which was the first song you sang where you discovered that, hey, I can sing and I can be appreciated. In sir, your childhood or in your profession? Uh, I tell you, sir, actually, before even singing, uh, my parents, they discovered that this guy can be a musician. So, you know, whatever I, I, I am today, I owe it to them. I'll tell you the story. It's a small story because I was in Coimbatore at my uncle's place and uh, I was about three and a half years old. And... Uh, there was a bhajan that happened the previous night. So those instruments and all, they packed and kept because it was a late night. And all everybody had left and that instrument was um, lying over there. So I just entered into the room. And sir, I had, I did not know what that instrument is because I had never seen that. I was too small. I, I had not seen that instrument ever. I just went there and I started playing Janagana Mana on that. And that was the harmony. So that's how it started. So my parents and everybody they started wondering, how is he doing it, you know? And then they started uh, testing my musicality. Like uh, they were, they, they were, they were uh, beautiful bhajans, you know, which they used to sing. I started playing immediately what they're saying. That basically the ability to decode a musical piece into physically playing it. The ability to decode that. It, I don't know, Opar Wale ki den hai. So they realized that, you know, he's got an inclination towards music. Without, I didn't even realize what I'm doing, what I was playing. Then I, you know, I insisted that this instrument, I want to buy one, you know, and well, because I was coming back to Bombay. So I bought my first harmonium from Coimbatore. And I got over here, and then I used to play any song that I used to hear, I used to just play it like that, you know. And then the singing and all started coming later because I trained myself in Karnataka. So you tested yourself with the first notes of Janagan Man, right? Yes. And yeah. I would say, he, suppose, let me tell you, we, test, we take your test now. Well, yes. he, sir, we want, the, how would you compose Janagan Man in different tune? How would you do that? See, I don't want to tamper with the actual answer. sir. I know. Kahi, but it is. Aap kuch dusra koi gana bolo na machal do. Aap hi ka gana kuch bolo. Nee, Om Jai Singh the share kar diye. Chale kam usko. For more news and gossip, don't forget to subscribe to Bollywood Health Client.